1946, the Blue Angels have brought naval aviation to men and women of all ages across America. We were first based at Naval Air Station Jacksonville, Florida. It is the 75th anniversary. I think about the lineage of people that have come through this organization and uh, all the way from to Butch Forest back in 1946 with their very first air show there at Jacksonville. Somehow they picked me down at the bottom somewhere to, to do the job with a, almost a clean sheet of paper, no instructions to, other than pick your airplanes and your pilots. Uh, uh, your crew out of the training command. We came up with some crazy ideas and uh, we'd go out and perform them individually. We didn't know how difficult it was going to be until we tried to do some maneuvers that were impossible to do. We've done a lot of reflecting this year. We've done a lot of reaching out and talking to uh, exes that have held our positions before and some of the stories that they've uh, they've told about the things they've had they've had to overcome, some of the challenges, some of the successes. When you look at the number of pilots that the Blues have ever had, uh, it's just phenomenal to have been one of them. Here are some folks that have been, you know, highly vetted and selected to represent the sailors and Marines that are forward deployed around the world. And they take that responsibility very, very seriously. And it was, it's the ultimate team experience. Of all the teams that I've, I've ever been around or associated with, uh, the, the Blue Angels is the ultimate team experience. We all want to fly the perfect air show, but we know we're never going to get there. It's hard to do well. You can take anybody, but it's hard to do well, and you don't always do as well as you want it to. You can't waste a day. Not in that scenario. You know, you got you to give it everything, because tomorrow's not promised. Three years I was in there, I didn't remember watching the air show, I flew them. And you go and watch, you go, wow, this is amazing. And you don't think of it. When you're flying, you're worried about all the little things that are going wrong. You said, oh man, that was rough, or I was, you know, screwed up. And no, you look at it and you go, this is just terrific. I mean, it's awesome. And it keeps getting better every year. Being a Blue Angel means you're going to do your best to uphold the idea of being a Blue Angel. It's not the fact that you're any hotshot pilot per se. It's the fact that the idea of what you're trying to show the nation, especially the young people. Doing that job was a privilege. And, and you're there to really represent the Navy, represent naval aviation, and the people that came before you, and hopefully to inspire young people who watch the show to want to become a part of it in the future. To stand at the crowd line uh, after an air show and have your handful of your little trifold Blue Angel, this is who we are, this is what we do, and sign autographs for the kids. Um, you'd be surprised how many, you don't know it at the time, but if you just happen to strike a chord or touch the heart of one of those youngsters. I was that kid. Um, you know, I all my whole childhood. I remember going to the end of season show with my mom and dad at NAS Pensacola in 1985 and taking a picture with my mom in front of the number three and the number four jet. I, ha I have two lives. There was a fork in the road. I have a life that I had before a Blue Angel and I have a life that happened once I became a Blue Angel. And uh, it took me places and did things for me. Even now, uh, somebody will mention something and I'll meet somebody that I would have never met had that not happened in my life. I did things in the Blue Angels, met people, did things with the airplane that I'll never ever do again or never have an opportunity to do again. Went places I'll never have an opportunity to, to go to again. As tight as you are with your brothers in the squadrons and as tight as you are throughout those associations. The Blues are the tightest relationships they'll ever have. You have a bond with anybody that has ever been able to do this kind of business. Uh, it is very challenging. Uh, it can be life-threatening. And, and you have to trust one another totally and completely. We have, we have a bond, a, a kinship through something we did that we understand. 
and we don't have to talk about it because we understand what it's like. And uh, that is really special. You know, it's just like, just like it was yesterday. They've got prettier uniforms and uh, nice airplanes and all of that, but it's really the same thing. They've still got the same glint in their eye. <laughs>